हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट सी दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन आइडेंटिफाई द कायरल मॉलिक्यूल इन द फॉलोइंग पेयर ओके लेट्स सी यू हैव टू मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड यू हैव टू सी वेदर दे आर व्हाट कायरल और नॉट सो फॉर दैट फर्स्ट वी विल सी वेयर इन दीज मॉलिक्यूल्स कायरल कार्बन आर प्रेजेंट और नॉट ओके सो यू सी दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉलिक्यूल दीज टू आर वॉट यू नो बॉन्ड लाइन स्ट्रक्चरल रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज देर ओके सो यू जस्ट सी दिस इज वॉट यू वन कार्बन दिस इज वॉट यू अनदर कार्बन so there are four carbons here this is what is ch3 this is basically what is ch2 so what is ch and this is cl and this is what is ch3 okay and what about this compound so this compound you can see is what is ch2 cl uh then then it is what is ch2 then it is what is ch2 then it is what is ch2 and then it is what is ch3 you start from here okay This CH two CL. After that, it is what is CH two, then CH two, then CH two, and then what is CH three? Okay. So you see, in this in this compound, there are no chiral carbon because chiral carbon is that carbon which has what all four groups from this carbon should be what different. Okay. All four groups should be what different. Okay. And in this case, you can see that there are no chiral carbon present. Okay. Whether this carbon or this carbon or this carbon or this carbon or this carbon. Okay. at least two atoms are there which is attached with these all carbons and they are what same okay so in this compound there are no chiral carbon what about this compound so this carbon is of course not chiral this carbon is of course not chiral what about this carbon so if you see this carbon this particular group is what c2h5 this group is what your cl this group is what your h and this group is what your ch3 so all four groups are what different and if it is there that means this is what your chiral carbon okay and of course this carbon is not chiral carbon so in this particular compound you have one chiral carbon and if you have one chiral carbon in a compound definitely that compound will be what your chiral compound or that molecule will be what your chiral molecule okay now if you want to understand this concept in a little more elaborative manner you can see you know in brief i am just going to give you an uh, you know <clears throat> understanding of this chirality so a molecule is chiral you see a molecule is chiral if its mirror image is what not superimposable that is the criteria okay a molecule is chiral if its mirror image is not superimposable okay and if it is superimposable then the molecule is what your a chiral okay and chirality basically that means if a compound has non superimposable mirror image that is chirality is the necessary and sufficient condition for a compound to show optical activity now what is this optical activity so optical activity is basically what you put that compound i mean if you want to you know uh, check the optical activity of a certain compound you have to put that compound inside this sample tube that is cpd okay don't use it in the examination cpd okay it's a compound okay so it is what your compound right like this okay it is it is better to write like this okay so you put this compound here okay put this compound here okay and this is what your plane polarized light and if this plane polarized light passing through this compound you know changes its rotation then this compound will we can say that this compound is showing what optical optical activity okay this compound is showing optical activity and that means it is what your chiral okay it is what your chiral okay now how to see because in every case we cannot use this polymer tube we don't have not all the persons have what this polymer tube okay so there are few uh, you know uh, theoretical justification are also there for this optical activity okay so let's see that first i will tell you what is chiral carbon so chiral carbon is basically what a carbon which has four different groups that is your x y w and z okay so if a carbon in a compound a carbon is attached with four different group then that carbon will be what your chiral carbon okay and that chiral carbon is also known as what your chiral center or asymmetric carbon or stereogenic center or stereo center okay these are the name okay so i hope you are clear with this particular chiral carbon okay now we will move away again chiral compounds are those compounds as i told you earlier that they have what non superimposable mirror image okay and we have seen that if a compound contains only one chiral carbon that is very important if a compound contains 
only one chiral carbon it will be definitely optically active definitely so that means if in a compound you have only one chiral carbon definitely it will what optically active and you can say that that compound is what your chiral compound okay but if you have more than one chiral carbon then you can't say that your compound will be chiral or not or your compound will be optically active or not in that case you have to see whether there are any plane of symmetry or center of symmetry are there in that compound or not okay and if it is there that means if plane of symmetry or center of symmetry is there then that compound will be what your meso compound okay you see it's a very simple example you see this carbon okay this carbon this carbon is what chiral carbon or not yes m a is a different group h is a different group and a cyclic compound you have to move so when you will move you will get a carbon which is attached with what two hydrogen okay and if you move in this way you will get one carbon which is uh, which is attached with what one m e and h so of course this particular carbon is what your chiral carbon again in the same fashion this carbon is what a chiral carbon so that means this particular compound is two chiral carbon okay but you cannot say that whether this compound will be optically active or not so that means you have to see one more criteria that is your plane of symmetry or center of symmetry and that is not here neither plane of symmetry is here nor center of symmetry is here so of course this compound will be what your optically active okay but you see this particular compound this particular compound of course this carbon is chiral carbon this carbon is chiral carbon in the same fashion as i discussed here but there is a plane of symmetry if you see if you see this this one is your what your plane of symmetry and if this is a plane of symmetry that means it this compound has a plane of symmetry and although chiral carbon is present this particular compound will not chiral or you cannot say that this particular comp or you can say that this particular compound will not be optically active and these compounds are known as what meso compound you can see this particular example also these are your chiral carbon these are also chiral this is also chiral carbon but there is a plane of symmetry and because of this plane of symmetry this particular compound is what your meso compound so in a nutshell you can say that if you want to find a chiral compound what you have to see chiral compound is what basically non superimposable it should have non superimposable mirror image and if it has non superimposable mirror image it will be what optically active okay so what you have to see you have to see number of carbon okay so if number of carbon is 1 always it will be optically active always it will be optically active if the number of carbon is greater than 1 then you have to check either plane of symmetry or center of symmetry and if it is present it is what your meso compound if it is absent it will be optically active okay hope this point is clear to you thank you